morning or is it morning yeah it's still morning we're in the garden we're gonna pick the beets out of the garden because we want to pickle them today so we're gonna see if we can find some good sized beets here to chop up and turn into pickles and uh, yeah I we've never done pickled beets before first time first time so we'll see how it turns out this one is good. but we like them and we're gonna try it so uh, See, those are reasonable sized beets. That yeah. should work out pretty good. It's fun, guys. We like it. We're going to try it. So join us. We get lots of beets. Two buckets, buckets of beets. Not all really big beets, but uh, you know, it's our first year, we're learning. We get a few good sized ones in here, like there's a couple of them in here, like. Oops. This is a good sized beet, though. Like yeah, a that's good. Good handful. Oh, Pretty good nice. sized beets. Yeah, yeah. But some of them are kind of small, but, but they'll taste good as pickles anyway. Yeah. We'll chop them up, taste them, put them in a pickle jar. Right enough? Yep. Let's go in and wash them up. Let's wash them up. for the brine for the pickled beets and we got to put uh, like four cups of white vinegar and two cups of water and a bunch of other stuff that I have to read my list for but and then you put it in here and you get it all and you make it heat it up and get it hot and then after you peel all your beets and everything like that then you put all your beets in your jars and then you pour this on top and then we have to boil the beets in the canner for another 30 minutes afterwards and then we'll have pickled beets it's that easy i don't have we think i don't have idea it's our <laughs> we, first time we don't this. actually know i mean yeah. it sound easy but i don't actually know i've never tried this before so it's going to be an experiment and hopefully they turn out i'm just gonna follow him it should be good i think how bad could it possibly be yes it's like an experiment right if they're not that good we'll give them away to people <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Sorry. Well, we got lots of beets to wash yet too, oh, yeah. so but I'm still washing the beets too. Four cups of vinegar. Live on that. Ugh. Smells terrible. <laughs> we need two cups of water. <laughs> my wife <is>, ow! <laughs> I banged my knee on the chair. Ow! That hurt. I'm doing a double batch, so I'm doubling everything in my head while I'm going along here, so. So we got lots of beets to do, so. We're gonna have more pickled beets than we, We're gonna have pickled beets every single day from now until spring. Sugar. Where's our teaspoon measurement, love? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Look <laughs> at my bum crack. <laughs> I found a problem. Even though my wife wants to tickle the bum crack. I should wash my hands now, it's gross. One. Two. How is it? It's getting pretty toasty hot in there. Just about starting to bubble. You can just see it start to bubble. It's really purple, hey? Oh yeah, it'll be, it'll be, we'll make a mess today before we're done, for sure. Wow. That's what happens when you work with beets. I finished the carrots, guys. There and I slice it as well. And Daryl. <laughs> Almost done our first batch of beets. That 
It's quite all done. We're done peeling them. Put it that way. We're not done. We still gotta slice them all. We still gotta put them all in jars. We still gotta can them yet. We got lots to do yet. We're just. <laughs> we're just. So you're peeling them right now, hey? I'm peeling them. Some of them peel really good, and then the next one's like this one where it doesn't peel worth a crap. I don't know. Hard. Why. I don't know why. Maybe you gotta boil them longer. Maybe we'll boil yeah. them longer this time. So they're always peeling them, and we're gonna slice that after, guys. And there's more in here. There's more in here, guys. It's boiling beets. And this one, we're gonna use this for our canning. Oh, there. There, it's boiling like crazy. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, close it's the lid. Like crazy. It's boiling if you turn it down. Yeah, okay. You need to bubble that hard. It's already 3.30 here, so I'm trying to make lunch at 3.30, hey? What a bad wife I am. Yeah, right. Huh? You're a great wife. But we had a brunch, late breakfast. And we're not hungry yet, guys. That is why. Got him. Chopping, chopping. <laughs> chopping, chopping all day. Yeah, it's like I'm cutting your so blood. So ready. Your blood. Oh. <laughs> it's like your heart. Boom, boom. <laughs> That's boom, gross. Boom. Okay, baby. Make your lunch. Late lunch, right? Yes, dear. My sandwich is mmm -mm, scum delicious because my meal <laughs> for me. I'll make one more for Daryl and then I'm gonna make my own sandwich. Uh not sandwich. I don't feel like eating sandwich today. So I'm gonna just uh boil this. Uh, what they call uh, mushroom soup. It will boil ko lang yan siya, guys, and I'm just gonna have this. That's my lunch. I'm gonna peel these small uh, bits for our supper, and I'm gonna roast them inside the oven. Okay, my wife is making uh, roasted vegetables, uh, beets, and uh, and stuff like that in the oven for supper and she wanted some potatoes fresh potatoes so uh i thought i'd go over here to where we uh just dug up our potatoes see they're all sitting right there well not all of our potatoes but we dug up some of our potatoes we, a row of each and they didn't do quite as well as i i thought they might i was hoping that they would maybe uh produce a little bit better but like they're quite small some of the reds did not bad like some of the reds here pretty pretty good sized potatoes some of them and really clean, like nice and clean, no scabbies on them. So that part of it worked out really well. But lots of small stuff. So we're gonna take some of the small, the little small new potatoes, and we're gonna just chop them in half and throw them in the oven and, and cook them up, and they're gonna be very good. So we'll scoop a bunch of them up, and uh, yeah, we'll show you what they look like after we cook them. Alright, I'll show you what they look like after. Coffee break muna kami guys. Ayun kay Daryl na coffee. Ito naman sa akin. And then he's checking for ants here. Look at them over there. Really? Yeah, we're by the tap there. Oh wow, ang daming ants guys. Tika lang. There, way worse. Yeah? Look at the ants. You have wings. Look at that ants. Do you have wings, babe? <gasps> oh! Kadiri, kadiri, kadiri. It's, yak it's yucky, guys. Allah. Why, why there's lots of ants in here? Because that's the end of the year. They're trying, to, this is, they're trying to get out and find a more nest and stuff. Oh, do you want to have a nest in here then, hey? Well, they already have a nest here somewhere. Yeah? So they don't get here for no reason. Ooh. Good thing you don't have that. this stuff in, okay? Yeah, I'll close my nose. Not I love you. I love you. I love you. And then you get your hot jars out and you fill up your 
jars with beets and then you put the brine in the jar after. Just squish them down a little bit, get lots of, get as many beets in there as we can. The hot boiling will come out. After 30 minutes boiling it. Boiling it for 30 minutes, yep. Can for 30 minutes. And onto the wood block. I don't have a really big canner here, so I can only hold seven seven jars at once. That's so. good, it fits the seven jars, eh? Yeah, it's seven jars perfectly. And I could use the tall jars too, but this is what we have. And we don't want to do pickles in a really big jar because then we get a pickle jar in a fridge for a month, right? Yes. Like we, we like the smaller ones, and then if we want to give them to people, then it's nice to give to people too. So, Daryl is putting the carrots now. And he put already the the spices, guys. Pickling spices and also the one garlic or half garlic. And a little bit of hot uh, red peppers. Yum! I like the hot peppers. That will be yummy, love. These will be kind of a little bit Swedish and a little bit spicy at the same time. So it's going to be a good combination, I think. Mm, I love that. And Daryl is putting the brine juice right now. I hope I have enough brine for all these. I should put this in inside the oven, guys. Our supper, small potatoes from our garden. This is all from our garden. And onions, beets, small beets. <laughs> and this one as well from our garden the cabbage so i'm just gonna put that last babe can you open the oven please there's supper hello guys it is already almost eight quarter to eight and we would like to have a fire so i will gonna put the fire because Daryl is so busy inside, he's still doing the canning and I'm just his assistant anyway, so <laughs> I did my job and he's, he's doing his uh, transferring of the carrots right now to the can so, or to the bottle, to the container. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put a fire here for our bonfire tonight because we don't know when is the last. This is also like fall. If you can see guys, I will show you. Can you see that our trees is turning yellow? I don't know if you can see from there. The trees are already turning, trying to turn yellow. So, so and it's not that cold tonight for the beginning of fall. So we would like to have a bonfire in here because we know that winter is coming, guys. So I'm going to start the fire. He said that I can use these uh, brushes in here. This one. Yeah, I'm just gonna just cut it. They're not hard to break, guys. They're already dry leaves or dry branches. I guess this is enough. Our tuna is cooking away. Oh, it's just time consuming, but it's worth it for sure. 
we're gonna have awesome pickles all winter yes pretty <laughs> sweet so we might give a few away but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like them a lot so i'm gonna eat a lot of them me too with every meal that we eat well every meal yeah, breakfast and so. everything we're gonna eat them. i'm gonna eat them on my cereal <laughs> <laughs> okay maybe not but i, I no well, maybe i'll try it once but probably not <laughs> Pickles on cereal, eh, maybe beside my cereal. Okay. Not. Okay, guys, we're gonna say goodnight because it's already 10 30 p.m. and we have to go early to church tomorrow early. We have to get up so early around 7 because yeah. we have to be early at church because we have to cook or prepare or prepare help for prepare. pancakes. Yeah. So. I'll see you again and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and we'll see you again guys thank you for watching bye 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 good night